Hey everyone, it's Jeff, Jeff's Jet Boat. And in this video, we're gonna talk about antifreeze in your motor. Do you need it? Do you not need it? Well, the answer is simple. You don't need it. So let's go into it and I'll try to explain as clearly as I can why you don't need it. And hopefully this will make better sense. Here we go. So we're in my boat. This is an 08 AR230. Now, people that like to use the good old pink stuff, well, they say, yeah, it gives me a peace of mind, but it lubricates. And there is nothing to lubricate. Like there are no pieces to lubricate in this boat. This motor, your motor, does not have a water pump. There is no water pump. People wonder, well, how that, that can't be. How can not have a water pump? How does the water circulate through the motor? It's gotta be forced in there somehow, right? Well, that is done all by your impeller. So let's go to the back of the boat and I'll explain this to you. Okay, so we're here in the back of the boat. Let's go over just a couple things to get everyone up to speed. Number one, this thing, this is called your jet pump. The jet pump is what they refer to it. It's like the assembly. It's a bunch of pieces that make up your jet pump. I'm gonna shine the light in. That shiny thing in the back, that's called your impeller. That impeller spins, forces water out, and this is your jet blast. Have you ever wondered why, say, have you ever wondered why Yamaha doesn't just put a gearbox on this thing? So that way when you put the boat in neutral, the pump doesn't spin and the boat can just sit there and idle and not creep forward? Well, the reason they don't put a gearbox in it is because they need a jet blast to constantly, to constantly be coming out while the engine is running. And that is so that this water coming out feeds itself into the engine. And it does it this way. If I shine my light in there, you can see that white rectangle. That is your water inlet pickup. It's right there on the side too as well. It's this piece. So as the jet blast is coming out, that water inlet on the side, as the water is being forced out, it's being forced also into this inlet. The water makes a U-turn and follows this passage all the way into your engine. This is where all your cooling water comes from. There is no water pump. The, the water pump is just the impeller forcing water out the nozzle that's giving you the pressure to force through your motor. When you shut your engine off, any water that's left in that line drains right back out through this and out through your nozzle. So let's go on the boat and I'll show you where that water comes in at. So we're here in the engine bay and I showed you how everything gets pressurized through the motor from the jet pump assembly from the impeller. So the Yamaha designed these cooling systems very carefully. And I'm gonna bring the camera over here to try to illustrate this to you. So that red hose coming down, that's your flush port. The reason that hose comes in so low on the bottom of this engine bay is because it is designed to be the lowest point. It comes down and then it comes to that, that water manifold. Again, you can see how that water manifold sits below the engine. When this engine is shut off, all the water drains back down. And the reason it does is because it has to be pushed up through the engine. And it is forced up there by the pressure of the jet pump. The water, again, is being forced up into the engine and out through the top and through the exhaust. That is how it works. So when you shut your engine off, you shut the impeller off that is forcing the water. So as soon as you shut the engine off, the water stops and then it just drains all the way back down. It drains all the way down again to that water manifold. You might have a little bit of water left in your pisser ports. You might have some water left over here on the exhaust side, especially behind here where your mufflers are located. Again, this is the design of the boat. See how this exhaust comes down and see how that goes down below the engine? 
see how this exhaust pipe you can kind of see the very beginning of your muffler right there but you can see how that is lower than your engine and that is all by design the water drains out now as stated in the service manual they recommend you fire the engine up and rev it up for the 10 to 15 seconds what that does is two things number one it creates a high pressure in your cooling system from the exhaust the exhaust pressurizes your system just a little bit and what that does is that forces any remaining water that has collected down at that manifold the water that's still sitting in your muffler the excess water and it blows it back out it blows it out the exhaust it blows it out where that water intake screen is on the impeller it blows it out the back of your thermostat housing which is where this tube right here is and the water is gone and there you go no need for antifreeze so try to make this simple and short as possible that's it I'm gonna put a link in my um, I'm gonna put a link in the description there's a very good video that someone has made about um, about how the cooling system on this works of course it's in your it's in a service manual which I'll put a link for that in the video as well um, that shows you how these cooling systems work on these boats and I hope that explains enough to you guys to give you confidence but this you don't need it someone on YouTube Facebook tells you you need it they don't know what they're talking about they probably had an IO and they needed it then and that's it so hope you guys enjoyed this video got questions type them up I'll try to answer them for you have a good one guys bye jet boat baby jet boat